Christmas pickups here today, and I got a, a sweet console pickup as well. <clears throat> Let me start with the uh, one of the things. It's a case. My girlfriend got me this, and the next two things. It's a case for my Vita, which I've needed. It's a pretty nice little case. Hold the Vita in there. You can put some games in this little spot here. I needed one. I had it sitting in the uh, little thing it came with <coughs> originally. <clears throat> Next one here is uh, Deception 4 Blood Ties. <clears throat> I never played any of these games. Or that game Trapped, which I think is similar to this that was on the PlayStation 2. I don't know if these were on the PlayStation, the original PlayStation or what, or they, if they even came out here, I don't know. But uh, I just this game interests me. I watched some videos on it. It's on the PlayStation 3 as well. It's pretty cool. I played a little bit of a, a bleh. <laughs> I played a little bit of it. And it's pretty cool so far. <clears throat> just set up like crazy traps and shit. Uh, this lady here is like the daughter of the devil. And there's like these three other demons or whatever that uh, are part of him or something. I forget how it was. And you have people come to your castle and you gotta take them out to like get this thing because these people trapped the devil years ago or something. He's trying to get out. <clears throat> so you gotta kill these people by setting all traps. There's uh, humiliation traps. Uh, let's see if it says it on here. Yeah, elaborate, sadistic, and humiliation ones. <clears throat> you can use them all as combinations. Each one of the little, like, the demon women, or one's humiliation, one's sadistic, and one's elaborate. So you can please them and whatnot by doing certain things. But it's cool, you drop pumpkins on people's heads, you got freaking swing, swinging pendulums, uh, bear traps, spikes come out of the wall, other things come out of the wall to push them into things in the environment that are like, there's this like, spin, thing spinning around, and one, you can, not, you can trap them. Knock them into cages and stuff. It's uh, pretty cool so far. I haven't played too much of it, but it's pretty fun. And the other, the other one is uh, Assassin's Creed Rogue. I started this up as well. I probably put about a half hour, 45 minutes into it. I'm enjoying it. Uh, it's cool. It takes place, I believe, I want to say a little bit before 3. And like, maybe during or slightly. Oh, wait, no. It's, it takes place during the... French and Indian War, no, I don't, that was before the Revolutionary War, I believe, so, it's before three, I don't know if it's at the same time period as uh, four, Assassin's Creed Four or if it's before it, or not, <clears throat> honestly, I don't know all my uh, <clears throat> dates for things, but it's pretty cool so far, it's Assassin's Creed, I love these games, I plan on getting the other ones for the PlayStation 3, I've played all of them. But I only own four of them now, so I need to pick up two, four, and uh, the first one. <clears throat> this one's cool. It's the same thing. This guy is like going to be a—he's going to be hunting assassins. I haven't gotten to that part yet, where he gets—you know—he just feed, he turns on or whatever. I haven't gotten to that yet. The ship combat's back and stuff. <clears throat> I got—you get a ship like immediately in the game, almost right after the first thing you do. But it seems pretty cool right now, you know, it's Assassin's Creed, I enjoy them, and it looks great, I mean, I'm still impressed with games from, like, the PS3 and 360, it's crazy, <clears throat> the way they look. And, uh, that was cool, and then on Friday, <laughs> this is, we've been talking, me and my girlfriend have been talking, uh, talking about this for a while, but uh, we finally went on Friday night, she had some stuff left on her, uh, some gift cards, and we had some money, we both threw in, but... What we picked up was a, a Wii U. This is the uh, Super Mario 3D World set. It's got Mario 3D World, Nintendo Land. They're pre-installed, which I, I was slightly disappointed about. I don't know why I didn't see that. I mean, I would have gotten it anyway, but I kind of wanted it to be the uh, the discs. But mainly because, I mean, this thing's already down to like 20 gigs now, so because it has those on there, it only probably would have had about 27 to begin with with the system memory and whatnot, but I gotta say, man, this fucking system, especially the 3D world, is the most fun I've had with a video game in a while. I've enjoyed plenty of games over the years, greatly, but 3D world just brings back that, like, joy, you know, you have from, it, that really only Nintendo can pull off, honestly, with, with their games. It, it's just something they've always been able to do, and, and 3D world is fucking phenomenal. It, it is gorgeous, too. Like, it's one of the best looking games I've ever seen. It, the art style is great, and the levels are, are very varied. They all look awesome. 
<clears throat> it, it's a fucking fabulous game. Played a little bit in Nintendo Land. I did like a balloon fight challenge. That was alright. And I finally get to play uh, Zombie U, which I bought like last March. <laughs> or even before that. I played this for about five minutes. I gotta uh, dig deeper into it. <clears throat> and uh, she, she had gotten uh, this for Christmas. So we kind of knew we were getting uh, a Wii U. NES Remix Pack. Is where you do all the challenges throughout old Nintendo games. It's pretty fun. She's been enjoying it. I played a little bit of it. Yeah, it's really it, the Wii U is fucking phenomenal. Like I'm so glad I finally just finally got this thing because it it's awesome. I played the Bayonetta two demo last night. That I knew I was getting that, but I wanted to just play the demo. I'll probably pick that up sometime soon. But that was awesome. That looks phenomenal. Like I mean. Zombie U is pretty decent so far. I haven't gotten too deep into it. It's cool the stuff you can do with the gamepad. It's cool that you can play the games on the gamepad as well, and they look, you know, fucking pretty good on that screen as well. Not as good as on the big screen, but they look pretty fucking solid. You know, I played some 3D level worlds on that, and uh, I was playing the Bayonetta 2 for a little bit on the, the, the Bayonetta 2 demo on the screen. Uh, Zombie U, I couldn't play on the screen because it has stuff on there. It's kind of cool. You like put up a flashlight, and on the screen you see it going down. So you gotta quickly just turn it off so it goes back up. You know, battery life or whatever. But a uh, real, really fucking cool system. I'm enjoying the thing greatly so far. Like I said, 3D World is something else. I'll probably put up some gameplay videos on some of those games. But uh, anybody who's played 3D World obviously knows this because it's just you can't not enjoy that fucking game. It's fantastic. <clears throat> so there's uh, you know. There's quite a few games I want to get for it. Pikmin 3 looks cool. Uh, Bayonetta 2, obviously. Donkey Kong Country. Uh, Tropical Freeze, I believe it's called. Wind Waker HD. Um, Lego City Undercover looks cool. That's an older one. I think that came out at launch. So did Zombie U. Uh, they have some of the third-party stuff that came out then at launch and in the following year, that would I may, which I may you know, pick up a game or two. Maybe I did Deus Ex. I wouldn't mind playing that again. See how that controls with the gamepad, and maybe like Spun Cell Blacklist or something. <clears throat> but there's a, this these amount of games I want for it. Mario Kart 8 looks really fun. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, you know. So there's definitely stuff there to pick up. <clears throat> but an uh, awesome system, it really is. Uh, my name on there is Flip McGee. If anybody has one and feels like I had me or something, <clears throat> F L I P M C G E. I thought, so I thought of something quick, so I just put that. <clears throat> if anybody has it or whatever, I don't really know how all the connectivity works. <clears throat> but it's cool. I couldn't get it to set up with my uh, t as a TV remote because my TV is like a weird fucking branded television that <laughs> wasn't compatible. It sucked too because I was able to get the cable box on and off with the gamepad, but I wasn't able to connect the TV to it. So that kind of sucked. Because that would have been kind of cool. I don't know. <clears throat> It's got Netflix on there and stuff too, which is cool if I want to use that for that. But I use my PlayStation 3 for that. But who knows? <clears throat> if I ever end up getting rid of the PlayStation 3, I know I could use it on there. But like I said, I'm having a fucking ton of fun with it. I'm going to go play Zombie U in a little bit here. Great fucking system. I'm surprised it hasn't sold that well. Like I guess there's a number of reasons it hasn't. Maybe because it's called the Wii U and people just think it's like an extension to the Wii or something. Like it probably could have thought of a better name. <clears throat> But yeah, fucking awesome system, man. Anybody feels like, yeah, I mean, it has one, just, uh, I'll put the name in the thing, too. The box, or whatever the hell it is. <clears throat> but yeah, happy with that, happy with Deception 4, happy with uh, Assassin's Creed Rogue, we can dig into that as well. Some more. Because, like I said, I enjoy the uh, Assassin's Creed games. Once I get the other three, obviously I won't have Unity, because I don't have a PlayStation 4, or, uh, Xbox One. I may pick up the, uh, Liberation for the Vita. And then after I get the, at least I get the three other ones for this, for the PS3, I will probably do a video on them, because I really want to get into like a nice, beefy video talking about those games, because I've had a lot of fun with them in that game. That series has kind of almost taken a little, they don't, everybody knows like the weird freaking Apple of Eden stuff, and Juno, and the people who were here before us in the, in the game, but in the, the first game especially, it started off more like a, more religious type thing. <clears throat> But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, throw that up and I'm real pumped about, uh, getting this bad boy here. <clears throat> but, 
but yeah, I just wanted to show off some of the stuff I got and thanks everybody for checking it out and have a good day.